All right, we're back with another SKU Savvy YouTube video. And in this video, we're going to discuss setting up the stock replenishment automation, which is going to enable you to place an order for items, a purchase order for items, and have those automatically issued or the quantity is automatically calculated so that you can make more accurate purchasing decisions. Now, as you can see here, this is one example where we have 971 already listed. If you pull down on a specific product, you'll get to see where that product is within the range, uh, as well as what it's committed to in terms of orders uh, and the transfers coming in, as well as how fast that product is selling. So let's go ahead and set this up for the classic T here. And what you're going to want to do is go into an inventory item. So we'll find the item that we want to set this up for. We'll click into one of the inventory levels and we'll go down to automated replenishment. I'm going to flick that on. And what we're going to do is set a minimum. And for this one, I'm going to set a minimum at, let's just say 150 and a maximum here of 200. So as you can see, we have for this variant, we're going to be in the range, uh, although there are going to be a couple of other variants on here that are going to be out of range. Uh, now we can set a realistic lead time, default lead time. As you can see, we have a couple of vendors who have already been delivering this product, and they're both about the same in terms of average and worst case. So that's the initiation of setting up the automated, the automated replenishment here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and save this, and then we'll move through each different variant on this one item. As we're going through each one of these, you can see now I'm on the extra large variant here. I've set this again to be our minimum expected is 150, and our maximum would be 200. Now this has a low limit right now of 114. So once we set our default lead time and have set these numbers here, now when we go into create the purchase order, this is going to automatically initiate this as one of the items to purchase from this vendor. Uh, and so we'll see that reflected when we go to create that purchase order. Okay, so we have set this replenishment level on all of the variants for this specific product. As you can see, some of these are a little bit low. The next step is to, assuming that you've already connected the vendor with this item as a product that they carry, uh, we'll go into the inbound orders table, we'll create a purchase order here, and we're going to select the vendor that we purchased this item from. Now, as you can see here, SKU Savvy is giving us a bit of feedback in terms of what value this product has on hand here and letting us know that, in fact, this is a little bit low for where we want this product to be. These are getting close to where our limit is set on this item. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're up in the range, but we're not above it. So it's still giving us a, a highlight there. So what we're going to do is purchase these quantities, which we are asking SKU Savvy to go out and look at our current open orders for the item, how fast it sells through inventory that we're expecting for the item as well as what we're hoping to have within a desirable range for this inventory item. So we'll go ahead to the top and we'll apply this suggestion. This is going to automatically fill those numbers in and we can go ahead and issue the order. That's going to send out an email to your vendor alerting them that you'd like to purchase these quantities and enabling them to go through a confirmation process that in fact they've got the order uh, just to show that what that looks like here. So we can see that our order has been placed and we get an email. The vendor will get an email where they can come in and go ahead and view their order. They can get the invoice for it. They can print that out, make adjustments to that order, or go ahead and just simply confirm the order. And that's all you need to do to place purchase orders and set the replenishment level so that you always ordering the amount of inventory that you need to continue operations. And I hope that you will go ahead and give it a try and we'll see you around on the net for the next video.